Okay, welcome everyone. It's Enrico Jenko. I'm the Signal. We're powered by the Mighty Mighty Team Alliance. We're just looking at these charts right now. Um, Got to be particularly careful, as I said, at this point in time in the market as we're dealing with after the holidays, holidays, all that type of stuff. So our main goal is actually to be to keep our money in our pocket, but since we are here to trade, let's see what we can find. Um, right now, I want to see what this up movement is about, see if it wants to continue in that direction. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Let me take a bigger bigger view real quick of everything. See what's been going on. See this at the oh we at the bottom. This should create more selling. But you never know. It could decide that there are a bunch of orders up here and it could go up. So <clears throat> just gotta be careful at this juncture in the market. That's what it is any way you look at it. But I guess right now I prefer the more down moves at this time. Well, I'm just saying that, so I'm not sure. See a little pushback right here as it tries to get to the top of the candle. All right, that's always important when you got the very long candle and the market. You see, it's trying to make its way. The market's always going to try to make its way to the top and the bottom of the candle, especially on the long candle, right? So this particular candle is kind of it's broken up, right? It's tried once twice this is his third time trying to make it up to the top of that candle so we got to actually we're just looking at that it's almost over let me see what it looked like doing here okay Okay, so we definitely got a little pushback on that, so just watching that. And so one of the first things I like to do is just have an opinion when I'm starting out, just have an opinion of what's going on and have everything going forward after that confirm the opinion that I had. And if all of that happens according to plan, then a lot of times it'll result into a good trade. So that's just kind of how we start out. Right now, it's the matter of whether this this particular bar, right, is going to make it to the top of, you know, this structure, whatever, if you like to call it that. So move up. So stay above 42 is what we're looking at, maybe, right? And I'm thinking at regular numbers, um, we tend to think about things a lot of time in odd numbers because that's the platform we're on. But 
traders in general, they're just thinking about their numbers. So, you know, even number doesn't make a difference. And it's very helpful to us sometimes because if it stops on like and gets stuck on buying in these even numbers like 42, it would leave like 43 open. I mean, 41 open and 43 open. So, some a lot of times that's good. I'm watching this go up. It's probably trying to make his way to maybe to 45. A lot of times, price is magnetized. They, that 45 is usually a halfway point or something or the top of a candle. And so price will a lot of times be magnetized towards it. Those are things I look at because I like to be on the dominant side of the market as much as possible. I can stay on the dominant side of the market. That'll be excellent because even if there's a tick in the market, you know, it's some cushion for you. Yeah, even though even if there's a you know a, a little a little problem, a lot of times you have enough cushion because you're on, just on the dominant side of the market. So we're not really talking about big trends and all that stuff. No, we're just talking about dominance in the market, where the market is heavily buying or heavily selling at. Those you 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 understand more if we walk through some more of these. We're just going to walk through a couple of these also so you can see what they look like. A lot of times when I get these um, prices going up, especially at this time, type of time, this app, this evening session um, at 6.30, before 9 o'clock, before 9.30, when these prices are going up, they, they going, it's, it's, they'll be acting like it's, you know, not going up. So you got to be careful. So... We're going to do so. We're going to walk through a couple of them shortly. We'll walk through a couple of them shortly. So. New five minutes starting. Let's just watch it as it starts out. We'll watch it. We'll watch what happens starting out from the first minute. See what happens. Usually you get a lot of information from the first minute and from like the the third minute. You see a big push down right now. area is somewhat flat so gotta be careful but that was a big push down I see let's look at it over here at Nadex see what was going on push down at 43 see how the market reacts to it though you want to Take another real look again about the 215 mark or something like that. We'll just look at this activity at this three minute mark. Wait till we get down to about the two, 
two minute fifteen mark. That'll see what numbers are looking like at that time. That'll give us a lot more information also. Just want to be very careful and patient all the time when we do this. And have everything just lining up properly. Let's see what it looks like over here. Hmm. We're about down almost to the two minute 15 mark. And we're still under 27.43. All right, so everything looks good there. So we might be priced out on the 27.43 um, right now, but it, it might come back to us. And then if it comes back to us, we got to be in it if we're going to be in it because probably won't stay around too long. And then when we get into it, we'll probably have to settle for like about $12, $11, $12, dollars $12 probably. That's okay. We're not thinking too much about our profit. We, we think more about just a good trade at the good spot. This point in time it looks like it's priced out, but it, it might jump back up there for you know for a brief brief moment. And sometimes when it does do that I will I will take the bait, jump in there and take it. So what it looks like though, it might not want to give us no price this time. That's the type of trade, like, if the pricing was set up, probably been pretty good right there. Right? Just didn't have pricing or anything, but. And then we got a little store right here, so that would have. I don't like to see that too much, but. Okay. So that's, that's kind of how to walk through. I'm looking at it, so we'll keep doing that for a couple of times, see how that works out for us. I'm pretty sure if you start walking through your, you know, your trades kind of like this, you do it over and over again on, on your demo or even, you know, just paper trading, piece of paper or whatever in your hand and just keeping track of the price and everything on live while you're doing it. You get used to it. You learn a lot from it. Okay, see that? That's that push I was talking about. Probably trying to get up there near that 45 mark. So we'll see what goes on with it. Um, right now, it's 640. This is 645. <clears throat> I got a thing with the fives. So, we're just going to walk through this one properly, even though it might set up fantastic just because of my, my personal reasoning, experience, or whatever, whatever. I, I don't really mess with that, but we're going to look at it. So far, it's going up. Prices are going, going up, so we'll just keep with the flow. We'll just ride that out. Let the price tell us what to do, really, right now. Let this three minute rock out. Hopefully, nothing, you know, crazy goes on. And wait until we get to about the two minute, 15 second mark. Then we take another little peek. See, see what's really good. Right now, 27.43 is, you know, a possibility. It's 
what the five minute chart looks like. I like to see what the five minute chart looks like because the five minute chart is like has a lot of like just classical movement kind of moves like textbook. The one minute chart alone has a, like a lot of fake outs. Okay, we at the two minute and a half mark and our 43 got bust down the opposite direction of what we, what we was talking about. A lot of times this happens at like those, like it's 645, like it'll happen like that at this time. And a lot of times it'll set up a good trade in the opposite direction. But like I said, 645 is, is, is funny for whatever reason. So I'll probably just leave it alone. But let's just look at it for what it's worth. Um, at that 215 mark, it was going, it went down. So let's look at that. Knowing that, see, you gave that's conflicting information, right? Up, down, so. But we're looking at it down just because of it, how it's moving right now. So it made me change my opinion from what it, from what it was doing. See, and you don't really want want that too much. And luckily, usually when that happens, you won't you'll be all priced out anyway. So you don't really have to make too many like decisions. So anytime you caught up like that, it's best not to make no decision. You just chill, just wait. You know, it's going to be another opportunity. And like I said, 645, it was a possibility of it acting funny style anyway. Everything kind of acting funny style, period, because of the season. But 645 is one of the, it's just one of those times in your head for whatever reason. It's kind of like certain prices on the, um, on the charts around those prices things could get screwy for whatever I don't, I don't read too much into it I just know that these things exist and then just kind of like move on let's see what we got here this might be interesting because let's look at it if it was just like this like if we went back a little bit now, people that now, if we were just in looking at this from a forex market, you know, not Nadex or whatever, and I was trading, I might have bought right there. I might have been buying, and then when I came back to the market, the market looked like this. Now, if I had money on the line, I'm kind of shook up, and that's going to make me want to get out that trade when it's just too much pain. Like I'm losing too much money, I'm out. And that's going to make me sell. So a lot of times I get a move like that, you know, that indicates that it might be a strong sell possible. Because I know people got to really just get out the trade. It's like, man, it's pressure. And you're getting both sides working for you. You're getting the side of just the sell orders working for you, you know, that's in the market. And then you're getting people that were buying that got to reluctantly get up out the trade so they're going to be selling also and then people on the sidelines seeing the market being pushed down they're going to want to put more orders in and so a lot of times that's enough to move the market and keep it moving in the direction that you're taking the trade in this is little stuff i'll be you know i'll, I'll look at so it'll help with the time in a little bit Usually I like
Like this 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 spot this spot is somewhat funny because it's a little little flat. I like more like incline or slope, you might call it like. But we see it's at the what is that? Two fifty mark. We'll come back. We want about the two fifteen mark and see what's good with it. See what shows up. Let's see. So a lot of time when I take do these, I take my trades a lot of time just on the the basis of what it is as far as doing it so many times. Like so, even if I I might not even like it to do it, or don't even agree. Like with it or whatever, whatever. It's like I'm doing. I'm not going to take the same trade over and over again, over and over again. So it's more statistics. So even if I lose, you know, it is what it is. So that way, I'm not worried about losing, because my statistics say, you know, just take that same type of trade over and over again, and you're going to be all right. We have 41 was the price we wanted. It's given us 39. We're going to look at 39. <clears throat> We're going to look at 39 real quickly because it shot down to about 81. It's the third leg of this, so it might shoot up. Right, it's the third leg. So we go, if it doesn't shoot up past 85, And if it doesn't stick at this 83, we will go in. And it did, it shot up past 85. I don't like that, right? So now we 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 kind of too close. It might give us 84 though. At 84, I might think about it very hard. You see, it's at 85. Times at 84 is going to be too late anyway. So we let the market and everything decide. See, now it's at 84. You don't get no price on it because it's underneath the 30 seconds. So a lot of hard decisions being made there, but all those decisions were made pretty much by the market. So you didn't have to make any difficult decisions. And it was a great opportunity for a trade, though. So we'll see what comes up next. Let's see what that looks like on the chart. All right. Now, you, if you look at this whole little structure here, look at this big candle here, right? All the activity was trying to push down just to that halfway part, right? Everything was trying to, that's the whole, that was the whole mission all this time was to take the market from up here down and it made it finally to the halfway part after all these so many bars so the fight now is at this halfway point they want to take it all the way down and you know of course the buyers want to stop this from happening all right so that's the you know you know this is the battle that's always waging but when you look at it from just right here you see it now this battle right here this how this looks right here this is how it is throughout all time frames right there's some big candle and then there's candles trying to make their way the the the, the sellers are trying to make their way to the bottom and the buyers are trying to make their way to the top. And they always just squeezing the price in, right? So one aspect of this to make life easier is to always know which is just the dominant side at the time of taking the trades. 
All right? You're talking about diamonds. You're not talking about what's trending or anything. You're talking about which side is possibly dominant at the time of the trade. All right? So that's certain, that's part of the things we're looking at. So remember, this is, this type of structure, this is formed through all the way throughout on all, all time frames. All right? So now at this particular juncture, right, What's this candle trying to do, right? They want to try to make their way to the top. The buyers, the sellers want to completely go down, right? Down this, down to the bottom, right? Now, if the sellers get all the way down here, this down in this area, you know all these people that were ever that were buyers that are still have holding in the forex market, they're going to be all shook and they're going to be wanting to get out and that'll push prices all the way down. But that remains to be seen, right? If any of that happens, it could be a bunch of buy orders right here that push the market up. So our job is just to let these candlesticks prices just play out for a while until something looks understandably profitable. All right? So let's just wait. I want to wait and see what all the the buyers are doing. I want to see like the buyers' reaction to what's happened so far. So far, the sellers showed their dominance, ran ran the buyers down. Now I want to see actually what's what's the buyers' response going to be to that? How they you know what I'm saying? What they're going to come up with? You know? They're going to be fly out their mouth, or they're just going to be, or they're going to run through them, or they're going to be, you know, quiet and passive. So we want to see what they're going to do, how they answer. And you can find out a lot of information in the market based on the answer, the response and answer to, from both sides. So I didn't walk through any of this right here just because, like I said, I just wanted to, I want this, I want to see what it does, what their response is. I want to see if they're going to do something that is, shows some type of strength. Like this is a strong move. It, it shows some strength. So we'll look at it. Let me see if it was some real strength, right? We'll see if it was. It won't like just some fake, fake strength, some, you know, some drunk strength. Let's see if it got some real strength to it. So, we we'll see what happens. Sometimes you gotta be patient with these things. Like I said, especially now, just stuff be happening. So this is what it did. And um this is this time of day, so usually usually it don't really be like big big moves at this time of day. So I don't be really expecting nothing too big, but all that is with take all that with a grain of salt though. Or anything is liable to happen. So right now, like the market is, I mean, it's just holding still at this particular point. So I'm gonna hold still with it. Hold still with it until it shows me something different. Right? We gotta always wait for some type of confirmation. To, to just make any type of move, really. And then when the market, like, gives us all those confirmations, you know, no matter how we feel, you know, we're supposed to take the trade. Of course, our numbers tell us that that's what it is. You know, this is the, this is the way you get out of, you know, being 
just, you know, just being scared to take winning trades when they, you know, present themselves. This is the seven o'clock trade right here. Um, I'm just watching right now. Time it. Let's see what happens at about the two fifteen mark. What is what's it doing at this mark right here? Uh, but the uh, um twenty seven forty one is giving us showing us twenty seven forty one. 2741. The only thing with that is like you got to get into that right now. And I mean, that's not something I want to do in life. Well, let's see how long it sticks around and what what goes on in the, in the market about the one, the one. I guess about the 115 mark. You know. Maybe it's ready to shoot to 45 right now. Who knows? And then we're supposed to be, be in it. Now, if you're going to get into 41, like, it's like it's now or never type thing almost because it's just that time of day. But it's scary, though. It's scary. I don't like, I don't like being all scared up like that. Like the outside of my door. The outside of my door trying to get me. You stupid? No. So we just, we just be really just careful and easy. Like, so on this 41, you see it was, it was there for us. And, and, you know, I know. But we had to be in there all this time. And nah, we I don't want to do. We don't really want to do that. But but this also illustrates what I'm trying to. I was telling you also about when the market be going up, just like in life, it's, it climbs up. It's like it it climbs up. Like it'll start climbing. It'll pause. You know, of course, it's climbing. So. It's a more of a struggle. You know, you'll see when on the sales, they they drop kind of quicker. Just like when you're falling off that same same cliff you're trying to climb up. When you fall off it, you just like really fall in in space really hard. So it's the same way with this. So we're gonna. Um, Let's see what goes on here. Let's see if it's really trying to push up. What? Like it's playing games, like tickling your feet. What's up? After a while, you you know you get this kind of just clicking, and you know your the losses. I, and I, I hate to keep like mentioning losses, but no one wants to take losses, of course. But I, I, I really believe that, you know, it's just it's just part of the game. Every, you know. And then, the I think the big thing is being able to have uh, those trades just come that you you know that for the most part. They 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 gonna pop off for you, right? So we still over forty one, under forty three, right? Well, whatever, whatever. I was talking about. Okay. Let's take a little closer look at that. A lot of times when something like this has happened, like shocking to me, like to me this just happened just now. We knew it could, but it just seemed like it just happened. 
<laughs> so, when I see that, I'm like, oh, okay. That might be, I might be playing my song. Yeah, you saw that? Probably just want to start pushing. Okay, um, let me see. We're looking at that 41. Let me push the way down to that 39. Let's take a look at that. We got plenty of time though, so we probably we might be priced in the priced out on it. Who knows? Let's just watch. It's already doing priced out type of stuff. Uh -huh. But a lot of times, if these a lot of times this might price out. You know, I might let it price out, and I might I might still take it when it come back to me, just because you know it's pretty solid. It just you know, it just fits into it just fits into what I want to do with stuff. So I might even take it if you know, if it if it give it to me sometime. So we'll see how let's see how this go down now. We'll see how this one go down. It never fails. So I caught right before I I'm on the charts and I caught one right before we got I got on. I thought I was actually already in the meeting, but I wasn't even in the meeting. I was running running the recording. I think it's already on. Mm. And then as soon as I get on, of course we gotta wait, 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 wait. But that's life. That's mm. life. Let's look. Let's see what this thirty. It should keep pushing down. 30 might, let me see what 39 is. Uh, 39 might be all right, but like I said, at this time of day, sometimes you get that full push like that, the market market might act up on you and just immediately pop back up right at the, just at the wrong time, just at the wrong time. So we're not, hopefully the market made the decision for us. This is, this is why I like, like, Nadex sometimes. A lot of times Nadex has made the decision for me. You see what I'm saying? Like it's, it, it made a decision. It said don't mess with 39 because it ain't even there for you. So I'm like thanks Nadex. Make a lot of you like a lot of hard decisions. You just let Nadex make. Let them make the decision. But right now we got some good. It's some good push down energy though, like some good selling energy. So maybe in the next maybe in the next couple of bars or something, you know, it might it might show something that we possibly like. Because it moved back up. It moved back up, but you know it's kinda you know, it's a little struggle. It's a little struggle for it on the on the on the upside, so we're just gonna watch. And you and as you see, I let the I'm letting just letting things certain things just play out, right? We wanted to see what the the buyers were doing, so boom, we got to see what the buyers is doing. Now we're looking at what the the sellers is doing, right? We we're doing the same thing. We're looking at what the sellers is doing. All right, let's see what they're doing. If they can gain control, like they want to get it down here. They want to get it to the bottom of this candle. Right now they're at the halfway point, right? So they're trying to get control. So let, let's see if they really got control. So we'll watch that. We'll watch that right there and see if they really got control. <clears throat> at this time they look like they do. So we just go and we try to throughout this whole time have everything just line up and confirm, you know, what we what we seeing, what we want, and then, you know, our click of work, we click. We click in in, in, in trade. Knowing that we we did our proper homework throughout the whole duration. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at 
you look at your trades like this, then you'd be more likely to likely to catch them with less kind of less time on the chart also because you you know you're just going to look at it at the time you're looking at it and then when you're not you're not you know what I'm saying you you're just not but at the time you're looking at it you're looking at it so thoroughly that if there if something is there if there is an opportunity there you can spot it so we'll see um, we'll wait till it's about the 2.15 mark, right? Right now, we're below 39, so that looks that looks pretty swell for us right now. Looks pretty swell, but of course, market, market moving out of price range. You want to price this out, of course. They ain't going to make it too easy for us, right? And if they make it too easy, they ain't going to want to pay us for it. But it's all right. I'll take what a sucker gives. Just take what he gives. So. We're just watching. At the um, 2.15 mark was under 39. We had to about the minute 40-something mark is under 39. We'll pull it up. We'll pull it up. See what goes on. See how long we can hang around on it. Um, minute 33, 32. It's at 81. Maybe we could even wait. Maybe we could go down a little bit more for us. Can we? We like to see it hit like the 80 mark. I like to see it hit 80 because then I know it's it's down there. See now, you really got to be in that. I just don't like that. It's just too close. It's far away, but it's too close. And the system says take this. And this is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm telling you. Like, you're supposed to be in that. You see what I'm saying? But we wait. Maybe there's a reason why I'm not in that. Then if I find out that it ain't, it, it, there was no reason why I wasn't in that, then that makes me more confident the next time. Also, that'll make me a little bit more confident. I'll be like, oh, I'm passing up money. Uh -huh. So we wait. But if, if you saw it out, Everything went according to plan, right? Everything just went according to plan. At the minute mark, it was going down. At the two and fifth, two minute fifteen mark, it was going down. At the one minute and fifteen mark, it was down. All those things checked off, so it was no reason not to take the trade. None at all, right? So this is how this usually goes with most of the time, right? You'll see stuff like that, and you won't take that trade, but then you'll take some other trade that comes along that's, that's not good because you're already scared up. You see what I'm saying? So you got to get kind of, you know, we're going to get over over that. You got to get over that. So the way to get over that is just to, perform well and see that what you're seeing in the market is what it is and when you see it you take it at that time and so forth and so on and so on and so on so as uh, we're looking at this one we're going to wait to see what this um this little up move is about all right let's see what that is about and then i probably want to wait to the response to that all right, we're going to do that. So give me two seconds.
Christ out. Priced out. Okay, what we got going on? No, no, no. Priced out. All good, all good. That's what we want. Not to be a part of that anyway. We never want to be a part of that. So now we saw that at this time of day, we saw that move right there. I'm. I would expect something to go against that. Like, but who knows? Just who knows what it's gonna do right now? Who knows right now? Just watch. So this is just to go through it. We wait. We wait. Let's see what goes on for like the first minute or so. See what happens. See what it looks like. Market looked like it wants to go was going up. Let's just see if it continues and and does all the things like that. Uh, let's go to this screen and look first. Okay. So 41, 2741, we would, we would love 2739, but of course that's price out. 2741 could be our, a possibility. So that's what we're looking at now. And we'll get down to about the two minutes fifteen mark. We'll you know, make another little assessment. Right now the mark is doing the opposite of what we wanted. We thought it was going to continue going upwards, doing the opposite of that, so It's never a good thing, but it is over 2741 still, so we like that. Getting close to the 2 minute 15 mark about, and it's still above 2741, so gives us hope that what we originally thought was going on is continually going on. Our hopes get dashed a little bit further, but. So, right. so far now, 2741, definitely under question now. So, 2739 might show his face. You see at 41, there was some buy orders there, got a little support there but not enough not enough mm. and once again anytime it's totally like opposite of what we think and a lot of times sets up in the opposite direction for us but we're being extra careful just because it's this time of year so I gotta wait You know they give us definitely give us a price on on forty one the whole time, <clears throat> right? So there must be a reason. Let's see what the reason is. If there is a real reason, no, no real reason. Just everyone 
everyone just shaky. See, we we're not the only one shaky. The market is shaky, so that's why the prices is moving like that. Yeah, so I talk a lot, I act like a big chef, but I'm shaky just like everyone else. See that? So we out of there. We're not even in that. And this is what I was talking about a lot of times that market move all the way up there. At this time of the day, the reaction be, you know, the opposite direction. Right after this, this started right back up, huh? Look like got some buy orders. It looked like we want to start right back up. So we're going to watch that. And 39, we like this. That was the swell one. That's growing. So let's see if we're moving up on 41. Let's see if he's trying to make another fight for that. For that 4-5 or not. Let's see if it's fight. Let's see if they got some fight in them. Seems like 41 giving them a little difficulty. <clears throat> I might get up to that 42 region that'll, that'll leave 41 nice and open. If it gets up into that 42 region, fighting up to the 43, that'll leave 41 nicely open for a nice trade, possibly. And then you got that move up, as we were talking about, up to the, the 43 fight. Did it, a little, did it a little too early, though, because um, we might get priced out. Mm -hmm. of it. But we, we, we hang around. We hang around. See what happens. Let's see what happens. He definitely ran up there nice and quick. We'll just bring it up. Make sure things in place. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, see, it might it might give us forty three to forty five, something like that. If it, let's see. What's that, Pizza? Okay. Now, we're down there at 215 mark, right? We're over 41 still, so that's all. That all looks great. We're going to be in this. You got to be in it like 145, something like that. You know, you probably got to be in there for a little bit. You don't mess around. And we'll see how long we can hold out. Not very long. It might come back briefly for us if it doesn't go to the um, 43, 44. <clears throat> so you got to be in that like 145. All of these probably you're going to have to be in there about 145. And um, eventually, if eventually I'll find one that I want to be in for that length of time. This one was all right, too. Hmm. It's okay. Even though it backs off this 43, I won't, I won't go in it because I was... 
I was all gung ho about the up move. So for me to take this down move to me is like contradicting myself in a way. So I just tell. Wait for the next one. The next one is 7:30. They might be acting funny because people act funny at 7:30. So we'll watch this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll watch this. Sometimes you get funny candles like this. The never the next candle will be funny like that too. So and I don't I don't really like getting in caught up into funny style stuff. Like this whole market session will probably end up being like a bunch of stuff just like this, just being funny style with maybe a little curve to it. So we just gotta find the right point of the funny stylist when it's acting right. Taking us some time to do so, also. Mm -hmm. You guys are getting good, though. My, my objective is, is for you to just be able to do this really yourselves. Just get in there and just get it done. This was the most happening with this. It was like it was inching up and then I was faking. What do you want to do? Um, it's still giving us 41, right? It gave us 41 last time. Still giving us 41 this time. So 41 is still in play at this juncture. Maybe it make a run to um, 43, 45. At the 7:30 mark, maybe who knows? Almost down to about the 2:15 mark, and 41 still presents itself. Now, of course, 41 gets priced up, but not too fast. So once again, we got to be in there like 145. If we get a shot, if we get a shot to get in there. See this whole stuck right there. I never like to see it like that, just stuck. Because I don't know what's going to do after that. I don't know what's going to do. Time is moving. Prices. I mean, time is moving. It the the bids and stuff is prices is moving, messing up the whole flow of things. But that might give us our price. See right there? Let me see something. And do something like that. Because it would catch 88. But I like to catch 88. Make it a little easier sometimes. I was seeing they're going. They gave us a little, a brief, once again, they gave us a little brief little opportunity to be there. To be there and get that. Not really enough, though. 
It looked like they don't want to make that move though. That's what I was talking about. I don't want to make that move. Yeah, the mother, she, she's so temperamental. She do it, you know. What I mean? She just do what she want. So, um, if you're watching this, we're still trying to look. Look, see, you're still trying to fight, fight that battle. Get to this upper half. That's the battle is fighting now, but it's having a hard time. It surely is, right? That's a hard fight right there. And then the sellers come back again. They they now they ready to try to jump on them. Let me see these, <clears throat> these bodies might get trapped out there this time. Let me see. Might get trapped out of these little these little traps. They be they be they try to trick they try to trick the retail traders up. They try to trick you up. Try to trick you up. Hmm. Let's wait. That's giving us forty three. I'm looking down right now because that's the way it's pointing, and I thought, think this whole up thing was like a little trap. So let's just see what's going on. We don't know. We don't know. That's why we played all out. We played all out, and then if it's confirmed, then we're supposed to be in it. And if we get cold feet before we get in it, then. I can't blame no one else but my feet. Right now, it's still going. Let's get to the one minute. Look at what's going on so we can really see. Let's get a little close and personal. A little close, up close and personal. At the two minutes, let's wait to that two minute fifteen mark. Let me see what goes on. I want that. I want to see the way it sell down on that forty three. They stay caught up in this forty two. Let's see. <clears throat> two minute fifteen mark. 23 presents itself. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that looks like. Anytime I take that extra look, see what that looks like, I should run away. Get down to this 41, I guess. All right. See if we get some separation there. Guess not. I'm gonna say this might be just a push. No, let's see. Yeah, they just playing with our emotions right now. Uh -huh. They want to turn around, just have to take that, but you don't want to do stuff like that.
That's alright, I see. I see what's going on. We see what's going on. We see what you're doing. You don't act like you don't really want to go down. You act like you don't really want to go up. You act like you just... You don't want to go down. You want to go up. I think you want to go up, too. Let's see what happens on this one. Uh, we got the market talk to us for this one. I'm going to let the market whisper to us. Okay. Let's see what they talk about. Let's let the market whisper to us. We watch now, see what the first candle does. A lot of times, how market starts, it likes to end up. So, we'll take a look at that. See if it gives up, gives us any clues into its makeup. Looks like, looks like the sellers have. Exerted some control over the market, and when went down even past our 41 that we was watching. So we'll take note of that. We'll take note of that, and we still we're still still at our our 41 mark. We'll see where it's at about that 215 mark. If we sell them, we like to sell them for the highs we can. If we buy, we like to buy for the lows we can. Right now, we're looking at selling, so we want to sell all the way up there at 41 if we can. And have the market still moving away from us. So let's see what happens. Let's see. In the three minute mark, everything seems pretty stable. Right? Pretty stable, so that's okay. Let's see what it does about the two, two minute, fifteen mark. See if we got some pricing or whatever. Then. We got pricing and everything's right. All we got to do is adjust our heart, get that clicker working. That's what you got to do. Market is working on 27.398, about 27.40. So we're under 41 after um, 2 minutes 15 more. All right? So. Let's actually bring this up, take a take a look, take a shot over here, I like the peak. <clears throat> we'll get our numbers up. And if it presents an opportunity, maybe it presents itself at about a minute forty or something like that. Maybe it'll give us away. We'll see what goes on. Three nine six right down the market's at three nine six. Right? Let's call it the low forty. Low forty selling down at the low forty. Right now, it popped up to about 10 real quick for us, but that's about it. We could try to place the order and, and, and have it just sitting there waiting, but I don't, I don't do that. I just wait till something happens in the market where it's a clean order. Like, you don't want to do ch cheap trades. You don't really want to do nothing cheap because you won't get be able to get those trades off when you got more contracts on the line. It went up to 4003, um, 4004, 4009. All right. Right now, like I said, the market's a little screwy, little too screwy. Came all the way up to 49. And look at the prices, though. So the algorithm says that the price is going to drop. 
that's what the algorithm is saying, like Nadex, right? By the time it drops, though, this price won't be there. Like, there'll be no pricing. But this algorithm believes it's going to drop. Look at the price. It's actually at the price. And look at the price it was offering, so... <clears throat> and it closes under, see? So, a little bit how Nadex pricing can give you little clues into the market, also. <clears throat> What's happening is it? Well, nothing's happening, but as, as witness, but sometimes, a lot of times, I guess it's this time of the year, also that sometimes you might have to get into trades like really early. Like when the session opened, I think I was looking at the trade. It must have been like 6.15 or something like that. When I'm not even really supposed to, before that, like 6.05, when you're not really even supposed to be looking at trades. And I took the trade. Okay. What we got? It's still going down. See, it's still going down. So, still at that 41. Still giving it. I still say we want to give us some money at 41. Uh, 745. You know, you know my thing with those five. 745. The market just gapped down. It just happened to gap down at that time, right? I keep telling you. It just happened to do stuff at that time, so. We wait. Let's see. Let's see what it got for us, though. Look like. Let's see if it's a roller coaster or not. But I don't want to be involved in a roller coaster. Some reason I'm take my signal. We just on these charts looking for a trade. It might give us one, but it's trying to make us work today. It's trying to make us work for these trades. It's going to be like that, like I said, to the end of the season. The, the What you will want to do, really, is that you want to have a, a good 10 months. You want to have a good January all the way through October. And so November and December, you don't even have to do anything, really. That's what you would, you know, in a perfect world, that's how you would like to do it. Um, at the two minute thirty mark, we at our forty one right now is, is looking all priced out. Of course, because why? They don't want to make it easy, but it might come back to us, like I said. So two minute fifteen mark, it's a uh, it's around there. It's around there. You know, eleven is sticking his head out. I take that eleven. I'm not I'm not too shy to take that eleven. I would take that eleven. And, you know. Added on to my profits, so um, we down here minute fifty some seconds. It hasn't been popping up like that for us to get, but I just throw it in the, in there just in case, just in case, just in case you want to show us some love. And then like, let me see what this looks like for here because must be acting up. Sad, huh? Then you know, see, oh, excuse me. Even native native algorithm don't even you know don't believe that prices gonna go nowhere near forty one. So it's not giving us nothing. I got to go. I got to fight other traders. I got to fight Nadex. Tell you. Well, don't make it easy. I don't want to make it easy for you to get this, this paper. That's why you got to just know the language. You know the language. You know the language of the market. You get it. But I got something. I got a tool, though. I got a tool, though. So even when I'm not around, 
you gonna have you have access to the tool. It'll be right. It'll be right. I'm gonna have you firing on all cylinders. What's this? It's 7:45. It's almost over. But it never it never gave us a look. Never even gave us a look. Market to start shaking up Riley about man. We might have to give it. A, I'm not even gonna say. I don't even know. Not to say the market is not really moving now. It's just not moving in position for us to do something meaningful really good in life. <clears throat> we're watching, we're watching, seeing this this market going to continue on an up move, right? See what happens. Thirty nine in play maybe. Probably won't be by the time we want it, but we mention it. Get an honorable mention. We just watch the markets. This how it goes. This is me talk to talk to. Thirty nine blinking in that. See what's going on now. We're coming down to almost a two and a half more. We'll wait and wait and wait. Again, 39 blinking, blinking. But the market is somewhat moving against us, so we must be careful. About the two minute, fifteen second mark. Twenty seven thirty nine is that large. Mm hmm. Let's take a little peek at something first. Oh, it's an ugly, 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 ugly position. We must really have to believe in twenty seven thirty nine. Let's take a little peek. See, and what we got? It's at a minute forty, forty mark, and we sit here and we make decisions. These are the decisions that we made. You got down to the minute thirty-nine mark. Seven Michael pips over. We got twenty-one seconds left. We still got time to wait. Market moved up one micro pip in that time. That's pretty good. Let's get under. Let's, let's just do it. Oh, uh, it did that little back to back down to ninety-seven. All right. Now back up to ninety. That's good price right there. That's a good price right there. Let's see what happens in life. 
Let me see something. What we got going on? We got about sixteen, fifteen. About twelve seconds left in this. We gotta catch it kinda of late though. And it took a long time. It took a long time, but we got so it's in. Stoke them down. Let's stoke them down. Y'all come down. Let's stoke them down like that. That was a good trade right there because it wasn't even close, nowhere close. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, where my chalk go? Where my chalk go? Oh, yeah, yeah, I keep messing up my chalk. I'm sorry. Uh, what is that order right here? Oh, that's that order. Right there. That was cool. That's a good price. I, I accept that. I accept that money. I accept that money. And that that trade was pretty good for it to to be where we at in the market also. So you know what I'm saying. That's why I like that trade. Hold on one second. Let me show, let me get this. Let me see. Boom. There we go. Let's announce it to the world, right? Announce it to the world. We finally got one in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes we got to stand here and stalk them down. Stalk them, stalk them, stalk them like fugitives. If I tell you I'm going to get that money out of them. They're going to give me that money. You know what I'm saying? They're going to give me that money. Right, kid? Right, motherfucker? They're going to give me that money. They're going to give me that money, right? You know it. You know they're going to give your daddy that money. You know I'm going to come for it. But they know I'm going to come for it. You're going to give me that money. That damn right. Every time. That's what she said. She knows. She's like, Daddy, yeah, they're going to give you that money, Daddy. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm going to run them down. Chase him down for a minute. <clears throat> I still get high. It don't like it don't never get old. Trust me, it don't never get old. I don't care if it's one contract, fifty contract. It don't never get old. But you got to think about the whole scenario, like, this whole time. You know, someone's on the other side playing games with, you know what I'm saying? They're playing games with that, with that paper. They really are. Someone on the other side. And then you just got to get it from them. Sometimes you got to wait for a minute to get it from them. You know what I'm saying? You got to wait for a minute. They get it. They give it up. <laughs> And give it up. I'm gonna put the plastic bag over your neck. Tell you. <laughs> you 
you take it how we take it. I'm gonna get you out of there. I'm gonna, we're all gonna get there. We're all gonna get you. I'm gonna get every single one of you out there. I'm telling you. Um, I'm gonna show you how to be a thief. This is thievery. Um, a lot of times, right after like that type of trade, you're gonna get another one. You another one kind of will, you know, pop up. So. That's yep. something you could always kind of be on the lookout for. <clears throat> Not at this particular one, though. But this is 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, everybody, who knows what just happened. Everybody went to, got up from their desk or whatever. Um, since everybody else did it, I'm going to do it for a minute, too. Hold on. Hello? Matthew. Let's see what's good with this. I'm going to get busy. Like my next mob of traders are going to be crazy. Watch. The next mob, they're going to be, we're going to be top notch. Playing no games. Watch. Top notch. It's like 39 in play, but it's 8 o'clock. All types of stuff going on, so we're chilling. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go to like, I'm going to give it to like, probably like 8, 10. Give it to like eight ten. See what's up. I gotta download this tape. I mean this recording. <clears throat> San Rico drink, I'm the signal. We powered by the mighty mighty team alliance.
you've been watching intently. You, you see, it ain't. It won't. It, you know the market. It wasn't really no. It was difficult enough to get that trade. That that took way too too long. So the market kind of shady right now. I'm not into um to risking nobody's money really. You can trust me. Anytime you guys lose money with me, I'm just as just as tight as you are. Cause most of the time I be in a trade also. Cause I'm going to stand by all the trades myself also, but um, I don't do this for y'all to lose money. I really just do this so you could and you gain the insight. And I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you as much as I can because you're going to get this. I'm telling you, you'll be the next wave. It's going to be the next wave, if you want to be anyway. That's, that's everything's up to what a person wants to do. But... I'm gonna get you right though. If we were just watching this one right here, we see that it's, it's nice down movement. Everything been down. And if we came over to this, these people were kind of stuck in there. If they were still in the trade, and they came back. This is what they would be coming back to. They would have some thoughts. So all that pressure, I like so. I'm gonna look at this. Just look at it. <clears throat> so far, everything's been swell, going down 39. But now, got some some buy orders coming up. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with that. Let's see what's going on at the 2.15 mark. I'll look at it. Let's see what pops up. Maybe someone will get caught up out there. Hopefully, it don't be, it don't be us. Let me set a peek up here real quick. Everything, everything, right? <clears throat> We're coming down to like the 215 mark. Let's we'll just bring it out. Let's see, let's, let's see what's popping. This is just thirst, really, right now, if I do anything, really. Just thirst, but... Seventy four. We gotta wait till it gets down. We don't want I don't feel like sticking around that long up at two minutes, so <clears throat> Ain't not really happening. That's the one thirty nine mark. I ain't get no love up there. So it want us to play the 37 mark, right? But that's mad close, so. I can't. Our price was 39. That's what it was. And we should have stayed put where we was. I mean, well, it might show us some love. So we, we look at that, right? Came back up. It's going to flash. Like, it's flashing right now, so you got to kind of get it, like, right now if you're going to get it. You see what I'm saying? While it's up at 8 like that, you got to get it, because that's the last time it's probably going to present itself. <clears throat> Normal circumstances. Like, if I didn't take the last trade, I'd have took that trade. Let me see if I would have won. Yeah, if I didn't take the last one, I would take this one. I should have took this one, but I felt 
I just should have took it. Let me see. Cause I know it was gold. That's how I felt in my heart. It was gold. Yeah, I knew it. See, see, I knew. You gotta know when there's a lame on the other side. Yeah, a bunch of lanes on the other side. <clears throat> but that did have a little bit of movement in it, though. I had a little bit of movement in it, though. And like I said, I got to be careful because, like, normally, like, if this was in the afternoon, I would be expecting it to have enough energy to go all the way down. This whole big blue candle, I would expect it to have enough energy to make it down. Maybe not over to the bottom, bottom, but like three quarters of the way down. But in the evening time, a lot of times it, it won't do that. Like, You'll be thinking, you'll be waiting for it to do it, but a lot of times in the evening, it won't. And it'll catch you out there and turn right around on you. Like, you'll be expecting this. Like, you just know that, you know, this whole situation is, is a, a down move. And then all of a sudden, it'll just turn around on you on some, some otherness. And you'll be like, whoa, where did that come from? You know what I'm saying? That's why I'd be extra, be on an extra careful tip with it. Because you don't want to get caught out like that and lose money. And I told you before, right? When these candles start looking funny, the candles afterward probably start looking funny too. Let me watch that for a minute. Until about 8.15, I'll probably, we'll probably end it. Because um, this is how I feel about this market. This market is what. And anytime you guys got any questions, you know what it, just text me. Whatever, whatever. Hit me in the group. Whatever, whatever. You know what it is. Always answer your question and try to get you back on, get you on the right path of where you need to go. Right, this is really, you know, you don't have to make this really so big. It's really light work. Slight work. It's got to get your confidence, and the confidence comes from just, you know, constantly seeing it, performing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So when you do lose, you be like, well, all right, whatever. It's just an anomaly. It happens. It happens. It happens. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to lose though. Let's not get crazy. I'm gonna try to lose. I'm gonna give it a thirty seven, right? That's what it looked like one give us, but I don't want to mess with that really, right? I don't know. And it's at right at the five point. You know, I like it under the five. I like it around the fours, threes. And then even then, I'm going to be cautious.
a lot of time with just I don't I ain't got really always the best discipline. My discipline is not the best, but I'll be very cautious. Right? So you don't you can't be uncautious and bad discipline. You gotta be, you know, have have some some of either. A lot of either. I try to be very cautious because I know I could be, I'll go thirst bucket. I'll really go thirsty if I, if I want to. I want to get you like that so you can have those type of days where if you wanted to be just thirsty and just, oh, I'm just going in, that you could do that. Some days like, to, days like that are liberating liberating a lot of times kind of like you know you go in the backyard by the lake and uh, like Alaskan wild salmon or something you know you go behind the barn and pull out an ox you know got the golden chicken let's go You gotta forgive me, cause I I talk through this whole time. <laughs> That's just how I look at the mark, and I'm just I'm just thinking about it like that. So I talk about it out loud. Even if y'all wasn't on there, I'd be kind of talking out loud to myself, to my daughter, whatever. She listens for a little bit. The headphones on. I'm waiting for the mark to get down at about the, um, what's that, two, two, two fifteen mark we talk about? Yeah, we'll wait for that. That's an eight. I guess it's all right. Eight fifteen, eight thirty. Let's see what happens. We want to look at this. We're coming down to the 2.30, mark right now. 37, looks like it's in play. It's stuck at that 63. It's stuck at 2.7363. I never like when it gets stuck at the 3 number. I never like when it really does that. But um, let's just pull it up just to look at it on the chart. I mean, on the... Um, on a ticket, <clears throat> you pull it up on the ticket, things start to tend to look real, right? So get real. <clears throat> All right, move down below the 63 mark, down to the 62, which I feel a little better about. I do. But market isn't about making me feel good, so obviously it's back up to 63. So anytime. I'm not feeling right about something. My, I just wait, and a lot of time the market will, you know, give more information. You know what I'm saying? It will give me more information to 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 um, actually do something, take the test, take the, you know. And like I said, I just go in, and I take it how it come. Either or, either or. You know what I'm saying? We just live by the by the law. We live by the law. Have the law upholds. It upholds. It's all about justice. Justice, our penalty or reward. So we wait. And we see what happens. So I say with these markets, all we could do is just play the game and we continually play it over and over and over and over and over again. 
see if the person on the other side of the market knows more than we do, has better timing, has better luck, and all of those things. We just do it over and over and over with them. Now come here and we just take money out of their pocket for playing games with me forever, deciding to be in a trade that is on the other side. I take your money. That's what's going on. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Like today we wait, we wait, and we wait. And then we choke them out in the back of the alley. It's all good. Let's see what else goes on. You guys get it. You guys will get it. Then back them down. Tell them stop playing with you. You guys will get it. And be strong traders. Every time that happens, it feel like feel great. Right? Every time, every time, I just feel great. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> How are they gonna stop you? How are they gonna stop you? You ask yourself that in the morning time. How are they gonna stop you? <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to stop? I'm talking. I ain't even trading. I'm supposed to look them what they look like. I always like to see this little thing go on a lot of times. See this whole movement. Let me just check this real quick. Let me just get this just a little, a little bit more to it. Let's get this a little bit more to it. Let me see nothing going on with this. More to it to this. What is this all about? What is this about? <clears throat> What's jittery candles here? What is this all about? 35. It wants to give us 35. That's what it is. Right? It want to give us 35. See, the only thing, the natives, the only thing that could, that, that's even stopping you is, is, is like the native algorithm, like pricing you out, time and stuff like that. But you know, that that's what it is. That, but that is something that you 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 end up learning how to, you know, circumvent and move around. Once you get good at just knowing how to place the trades, where to place the trades. That's the real essence of it because you're knowing more so of where the losers and winners are. When the losers got to get out the trade, when the winners going to put more on the trade, stuff like that, you know. And you start looking at it and get money. And get money. You see, right, it, it did make it its way like three quarters of the way down, right? See what I'm talking about? Oh, 
Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. I guess that's about three quarters. And then, you know what I'm saying? They don't make the fight, try to go down this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Then we go through the whole rigmarole over and over and over again. You know, over and over and over again, we go through the we go through the road. And that's life. <laughs> that's life. I love this. Shit, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, all right, let me actually um, knock this off because I gotta um, download this before it gets too much for my my old old Betsy computer here, old Beatrice. She can't take too much. Really, so um, let me just. I gotta download this stuff. Um, uh, maybe I'll pop on about. I don't know about nine something just to take a look. I don't expect to really do no trading, but I, I might pop on just to take a look. Maybe we talk about a few things if you got any questions or something like that. All right. So I'll see you then. All right. Okay. All right. Bye bye.